I'm probably going to mute TTS if it gets too distracting, but uh, for now, uh, do I play a Stafford? I can't help myself. It's muscle memory. Ooh, opponent not going into it. Uh, now we just have a symmetrical Italian. What is this? I'm just copying white. Uh, if takes... I might as well take and play bishop e6. This is the most symmetrical game ever. Thus far. <laughs> oh, I can't... I probably can't play d5. This is a test stream sub. Ignore. A... Wait, let me... Am I already, like, under pressure here? I mean, it will... If I play d5... We trade... No, I don't think it works. Okay, let's, um... Try and focus. Take and play e5. Okay, I'm going to mute TTS just so I can ignore all the future comments telling me to ignore them. Slight time deficit. He's thinking taking with knight. What a position. Okay, I can't complain with this. Can I outplay a GM from such a position? King e7. I think the king should be on e6. I just realized I'm in live chess. I should be in chess.com slash play. Because live chess is a little bit more buggy to make the switch between rounds. Okay, leaving tension between the rooks. Um, rook d4 looks interesting. I'm tickling the pawn. If takes, takes, and I hit the knight and win the pawn. King e3 is probably expected, and then I play this move. Yeah, it seems like I'm getting a little bit of uh, a little bit of pressure here. Like my king is better placed, rook is active. This pawn is a bigger weakness. Um, this question, can I make progress? Is this a move? I don't think it works because rook d4. Although, maybe it is a move. I'm not taking the draw. Takes, 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 takes. I have rook d2 in the end. So the calculation is takes, 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 rook d2. Rook c1, rook h3. I think I go for it. Hope I'm not blundering anything. <laughs> yeah, it's important it's check, otherwise I'd lose a piece. Okay, so this is a main calculation. And after rook c1, there's this. Rook b1, I have b6. Meanwhile, my king prevents rook f7. Okay, so white's going for activity. I'm playing for a win here. Uh, probably this move, rook f3 and then rook a2. Interesting. I'll just play this. So if rook g8, I take with check and play g5 and rook defends h6. A rook e3, but then this move. I don't think a3 can be defended. There is that though. So let's play this. 
d6. Okay, so white allowed this idea. It still takes a lot of work though. Do I have... Yeah, I'm losing a6. Still up a pawn though. I was wondering if I have b4. Which I might. b4, rook a5. Hmm. Wasn't sure. <laughs> oh no. I blunder. I mean, B4. <laughs> no time. This is going to be a draw. I'll go for mate, though. Draw. Okay. Ah. It felt like it should have been winning at some point. I let it slip. Uh, like a like decent counterplay. These endings are tricky. White still had like decent drawing chances. Um, maybe I should not have entered that line. Like here, time got low. It's annoying because my king doesn't have a great square. Like I want to prevent the rook from coming in, but I also have to avoid repetition. Anyway, um, I should switch to chess.com slash play because the problem, the problem with live chess is the pieces just get stuck easier, more easily. Like if I, if I make a pre-move and then I, I have to like cancel it, um, the, the user experience is better in, in play, but I hope this doesn't mess up the layout. That work? Oh, that worked. Okay. Sweet. Leave. Okay. Um, so that was the first round. The opening was funny in that game. But hopefully it, it goes to show even from symmetrical positions, there's still room to outplay like a strong player with the black pieces. Um, if I want to see the game, maybe I can get some quick engine analysis. Oh, never mind. Okay, new game starting. Half a point. Uh, I'll play London. Oh, live will be deleted soon. But live still allows for like analysis boards. Wait, um, okay, let me focus here. Yeah, I thought live was going to be deleted at the end of 2021, but I'm sure it's a gradual process. 
Okay, so Queen D2 is an engine recommendation as far as I remember. I'm okay with the trade. And the plan for white is to castle queenside here. And then do some eventual attacking on the king side, or just expansion in the center. So there's a trap of b5 I can take. And after takes, I take with check. A typical idea. I'm taking immediately it doesn't really work. Rook g1 looks interesting. Baby. Mazel tov. A mazel tov. I'm thinking e4 too. e4 takes takes. I mean, I have the bishop pair. And I have more central pawns, basically, so I think it makes sense to expand the center. And I was going to say, now I'm threatening this move, uh, which black, just double checking. Yeah, black didn't really address. And the same idea, because now, now the queen can't take as a pawn supports the knight. And if takes, I take with check. Very classic uh, Zwischenzug tactic. So, winning a pawn. But still takes work. <laughs> As we've seen from the previous game, one pawn is sometimes not enough to be completely winning. But it's a feel-good position. Got the center, got the bishops, got a time advantage. Yeah, I was thinking the plan is just to expand. Uh, e5 is a move. I was thinking c4, but then maybe c4 is interesting. Because the c5, I can take it. If knight takes, there's bishop d6 check. And the plan is to play c5 myself. And just pummel away at the square. And the b6, that allows this move. Which I might as well start with. Question the existence of the rook. If this, I play this and win the pawn. Oh, uh, just realized I could maybe almost trap the bishop, but not quite. Can I trap the king? And bishop d6 forces king d8. There's also this line e5, bishop g7, bishop g5. Choices, choices. I'm looking at a line. Knight b8. Oh, knight b is not playable. Okay, so line is king d8, bishop b7. And this pawn is actually... I don't think it can be defended. For some reason, it looked like knight b8 was playable, but I just take it. And meanwhile, yeah, once I win this pawn, black is going to crumble further. Hey, it's Hannah. What's up, Hannah? Thanks for the good luck wishes. Shout out to Hannah. Oh, Hannah, I got your message too. And for some reason, I got busy, but didn't have a chance to reply. Um, I'm going to say that I'm going to suggest that we collab sometime in May because my schedule the next few months are going to be crazy. But we should, uh, yeah, we should arrange a, a collab at some point. Rook c2. Idea, bishop b7, rook c8. Yeah, the knight is very, maybe not so limited on squares. e5 looks nice. Take, put the rook here. Yeah, these rooks are a little bit left out. Now this move, rook g7 coming. <laughs> rook g, g7. I feel bad laughing. Okay. That was a feel good game. Um, yeah, opponent fell victim to this early 
I don't know if it's an opening trap or middle game tactic, but very uh, typical type of tactic. If you do enough like puzzle rush or puzzle storm, you'll see this on occasion. Is the stream going on YouTube? Yes. Um, yeah, I'm making a habit of putting full streams on YouTube, though I'm not sure if I'll put this on my main channel or extra channel. Um, depends on my eventual content strategy. But we do have the extra command. Thank you, Old Walter. Or I think on... I do have a set, set uh, schedule of days where I post on extra channel. I think it's Sunday. Is it Sunday, Wednesday, Friday? Something like that. Usually three full streams a week. Um, yeah, but Title Tuesday has been offering good content lately. I know some people like watching on Twitch over YouTube is the, the live interaction. Um, but YouTube has some nice features too. YouTube doesn't delete VODs after 45 days. Would you be able to add the date of stream to video descriptions? That's a good suggestion. I think I do though, right? So here's the extra channel. And then, yeah, all the, all, let me switch scenes here. So all the recent videos are full streams. Uh, the C4 right. I thought was really interesting because. And then if we, if we look in the description, yeah, it'll say originally streamed and then the date. So I will be posting some like older, older streams to the channel. I have hundreds of, of files in my, uh, on my hard drive. Thank you day or no D G M is fit. First time sub. Yeah, I know YouTube can't read Twitch chat. So I could consider like adding chat to the streams. But I'm not sure. I'm I'm a little bit conflicted if that's a good idea or not. Tuesday. Oh, thank you. Sis Melipsy. Yeah, it's Title Tuesday for those unaware. Uh, we are, I'll watch a game. Finish with round two. But a few more games still going this round. Hey, thank you, Milwaukee Chess Hack. Yeah, the main reason for not including Twitch chat is just moderation and 99% of the time Twitch chat is, is wholesome and family friendly, but uh, it can be hard to moderate or edit uh, eventually for YouTube. Robin asking, oh, asking the other day, would GM title likely increase your income? Uh, it would probably decrease my income because I would have to spend so much time away from like streaming and YouTube content to focus on getting better. Okay, I'm playing Gawain Jones. I think Gawain plays G6 and then eventually D5. I played Gawain a while ago. I played Gawain in uh, this Ben Feingold like Mayhem tournament. The same opening as the previous game. Uh, I think 95 is the main move. These lines get really tricky though. There's a trap, c5 takes, uh, queen a5, queen d2 takes, and then knight a4, which is like a pseudo queen trap. If you were able to learn one language in a matter of seconds, which one would you choose? 
Ooh. Um, I want to say Toki Pona, created by Sonia Lang. But that that would like realistically, it would take ooh, Grandmaster falling for opening prep. That would probably take uh, just a couple of days to learn. So probably like Chinese or Icelandic, which could take like a whole lifetime to learn. <laughs> Yeah, this is one of the few traps I know in this uh, this line with like 95 C5. Uh, the problem for black is all these squares are pretty much covered. And I there's queen d6, but then I take and I win stuff. I'm pretty sure, uh, who was it? Magnus trapped Neroditsky with like a very similar trap in a very similar line. Uh, there's also knight f7, but I think knight g6 is the way to go. Oh, wait, and queen c6. Or queen d7, knight c5. I think it's okay. If queen c6, I fork. If that, I take. It gets weird. Um, I think it's okay, though. Queen e6, I was thinking knight c5. And there's queen b6. I gotta focus here. Queen b6. I have 97 that line. I have two pawns here. I think queen b6 is forced. If you're here, 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 I fork. That move I forgot about. Yeah, the problem is if I take the rook, queen takes bishop, and my knight's trapped. So I could, could take the knight. Also take the other knight. I have queen d5 now. Taking way too much time, but um, <laughs> I'm winning all the pawns. Thank you, kind person. Smolzik. Appreciate the gifted subs. Gotta move faster. Yeah, the knight wants to re reroute to g5. The queen might end up going to g5. Bishop e6. And this move now. I just want to simplify. Take the bishop with check. I'm hitting the queen. Check. Fancy. Up three pawns. And probably G3 solidify. No rush to to win. Probably this, 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 this. Always enjoy your streams, smile. Oh, that makes me smile.
If I get the pawn to e5, then uh, pawns are nicely placed. Rook comes to e1. Half a year of joy. Hey, thank you, sausage. Probably c3 is coming soon. D6 ideas. I think it still works. Wait, no. And bishop D3. Be sometimes hard, like psychologically, to win. You know, I'm playing a decent player, but I have so many pawns. Okay, <laughs> got the job done. How many pawns was I up? I was up six pawns. That's enough to win. I went from being up six pawns to being up five pawns and a queen. Okay, um, yeah, I tried to stay focused because sometimes I have a tendency of, uh, of, throwing away winning positions, but I was hesitating a little bit, but got the job done. Um, it was a nice opening trap. It's the type of trap that like even a strong GM can fall into, because this and this is so natural in a blitz game. But uh, yeah, knight a4 is quite nice. So uh, that was round three, I believe. So I'm two and a half out of three. Pretty good start so far. You can watch Aman. Yeah, Aman's playing for a win. The white's pawn is fixed on e4. This should be a draw, though. Maybe someone will flag. Oh, there's, <laughs> I see the comments. Eric should be GM already. How do you become a GM? I addressed this in a recent video um, on my main channel. The video is titled, Why I'm Not a Grandmaster Yet. I talk about like the requirements for GM and um, yeah, there is a difference between like classical over the board chess and uh title tuesday blitz okay so that was repetition oh i'm playing injich i played injich in a recent title tuesday injich beat me with a uh, joe bava this joe bava line joe bava london Ninja taking time.
I have a feeling Bishop F4 Knight C3 is coming. Or not. I know Injish likes to mix up his openings. If I play C5, then Knight C3 is still probably coming. Hey. Oh, where's my alert box? Hey, it's John Bartholomew. Thank you, John Bartholomew. Uh, sorry, my alert box is missing in action. Ah, uh, bishop b5. I play this as white. I should know what to do here. I think it's rook c8. This is a very tricky line, actually. C4 takes a4. Oh, C3. So I think 95 queen b6 or something. Or whatever this is. Interesting. Now, I played Andrea Botez the other day in like a training game, and we had a very similar line. Uh, what to do? H6. Typical move. Oh, thanks, John. Shout out to John. Okay, so I could take here. And we end up trading 97. I do concede the bishop pair, but okay, bishop takes I, we just trade more. And now we got a structure where e5 is a potential target. f4 can't be played right away because queen b6 check. I'm also controlling d3. Well, this feels like a decent like Karo Khan type position. Just have to manage my time better. Bishop g6. There's also a5. a5. a4 likely. Hmm. Okay, making some progress here. Controlling d3, queen side down to b2. Pawn is nice on a4. Discourages this move. There's some idea, uh, knight a5 to c4. Hmm. I could play knight, knight e4 right away. I can en passant first. And trade, I think I'll play this right away. I'm declining en passant. I like the pawn here, preventing knight b3. Wow. So up the exchange now. Idea this and this. C3 is a backwards pawn. And probably idea of doubling up too. It's nice having a extra rook. Okay. I don't think I'm scared of the sacks. Bishop C5. It's not played. Interesting. F6. Hey, rook C4. I might end up sacking back. I'm not sure what my plan is. White's holding his ground. 
The idea of this and this and this. A3's potential weakness. Keep the king side controlled. Maybe f5 ideas. f4 is coming. Why does it feel like I'm getting ground down? I'm up material. A queen g5 idea. There's bishop c5, but then I take it. It actually becomes easier to play there. Just avoiding bishop c5 ideas. Thinking the rook should be on c6, and then I go for queen g5, f5. Stick my bishop in there. Like f5. f6. Finally born. Hey, congratulations. What a fight. Rook should be on f7. So here, 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 I rook f3. Wait, what? I hung a rook. Opponent didn't take it. There is simple move. The time is still of the essence. No, I hung a pawn with check. Oh. Oh no. This is bad. Don't hurt me. No. Oh, it's so sad. What a game. Oh, that was not the highest quality finish. What was king h7? That's so sad. There should be a winning position too. <laughs> White didn't take the rook. White just trusted me. Yeah, I missed rook f5. The problem is I don't have any time to take the pawn. I should have probably played rookie seven because connecting white's pawns was not a good thing. E3 was probably bad. A lot of blunders there. What to do? It was a nice game though, like leading up to the the end game. It's interesting, like white just locked the position down. Maybe I should have gone for F6 earlier or F5 earlier. That's what I get for not taking on Passant. <laughs> I should have opened a file. Mm. How do I? Oh, I can analyze. So, yeah, I think like already here, it's like really pleasant for black. The yeah, engine will just give like a steady like minus two. But then yeah, then there was compensation. I just kind of played without a plan. But then okay, this should have been much better. Man, king h7. Then rook takes g5. Ah, rook f3 check. Yeah, rook f3 and some e3 ideas. Yeah, that was losing. What to do? 
Wait, F. I hope this stream is okay. And maybe the, the stream will crash after that game. <laughs> oh, stream is fine. Okay, that's good. Anyway, um, it's still a good tournament. I mean, I beat Gawain Jones. I have two and a half out of four. So still a plus score. Oh, Jeffrey's playing. Yeah, Jeffrey is playing in the Spring Classic in St. Louis. Um, I know he had a quick draw today. I think he drew Lenderman very quickly. I'm surprised like he <laughs> he finishes an OTB game and then straight uh, goes straight to Title Tuesday. Oh, F for fine. Ah, uh, okay. Wait, the game's not updating. Yeah, chess.com slash play is supposed to resolve bugs, but um, this is still a bug that the game list doesn't update. I guess I could refresh. Wait, where's the tournament? Did refresh lose the turn? Wait. Chess.com slash play. Tournaments? Where's Title Tuesday? This happened to me once before. I'm so confused. Daily turn? No. So I have it here. Man. Play? Play online? Here we go. That was so confusing. Okay, so I'm joined because the tab disappeared. Click on new game. Okay, so it's round four. This is usually when there's a break. Oh, Fabiano is four out of four. There's actually a lot of players with four out of four. Now, I think this happened to me last week where like I refreshed and then the tournament just disappeared. So yeah, I think there's still some kinks to, to work out. Because it's not the same, like on Lee Chess, there's a tournament URL, but on here, like I'm just on chess.com slash play. I have to navigate, navigate to it, like with these tabs. So it looks like all the games are done as a typical round four break. Have I played Fabi in Title Tuesday? I don't think I've ever played Fabiano on chess.com. Yeah, we can see, usually it would say my score, but uh, yeah, we've never played. But we played once on ICC. I actually showed the game the other day. It was like over 10 years ago. I mean, there, there's still a lot of perks to, to chess.com. So, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy, I still enjoy using both platforms. Um, it's amazing, like the turnout too. I wonder how many, how many of the top hundred players in the world are playing in this? Oh, Hikaru with three out of four. So I'm half point behind Hikaru. Oh, ICC is an internet chess club. 
which uh, I played on a few days ago. It was it's an OG chess platform that was built in the 1990s. It's still around, but you have to download like the client software. Have you played Orientari? I believe I have. But it's probably been a while. Para Ditto says, You're a vid of yours saved me from a sleepless night yesterday. Oh, I'm glad I could help. Okay, uh, London opening time. Oh, no, my money. Oh, yes, your money. Thank you, Brendan. Um, play knight f3. Oh, I'll play the same line that uh, Injic played against me. If I can remember it. This is a bit different, though, because... Yeah, Black's going to go for this, like, early f6. Mm. I think I'll just play solid chess, like c3. Bishop d6 I might even take. I should know what I'm doing here. Knight h4 a move? Knight h4 might be a move. It's a very trendy way of playing what Black is doing. I saw this, but I thought it takes in queen h5. Knight g6. I mean, black like used no time in the opening, but I think they they kind of tricked themselves because now yeah, knight g six, it's a pork, the pin plus a fork. Now it still takes work to win this. Probably queen h three and just enjoy the material advantage. There's b three. Bishop e3, bishop e2. I'm going to play bishop e2. Yeah, I really got to watch my time and just try and stay focused. Just play like low risk moves, improve the position. Um, yeah, I'm thinking b3. Because there's potential for c4 or bishop c4. If knight f5, maybe this move. And queen g3. Knight d6 is expected. Wait a minute. I missed e3. Also, I didn't see that. Uh, I have to take bishop c4. And black's going all in or all out. e3, queen g2 looks to be okay. I'm a little rook in this position. Rook for two pawns. Black has a Tetris piece. So bishop e3. So if e5, I, I play bishop c4. I mean, there's exchange sack. And then this. But then I'm up. I mean, I'm up, up a rook, rook in exchange. The king should be safe, even if knight f3, because then rook d7, get some counterplay. There's also queen h8 ideas. I'm thinking queen h8. There's also uh, rook c1. Then...
play this. B4, I'll take. Wow. <laughs> There's weird compensation for black. I have a queen and rook for knight and bishop. Oh, this pawn is menacing. Okay, this pawn is hanging. As long as I can make a past a pawn. It's not so simple though. I think rook b1 is probably trying to calculate mate though. Just idea of rook b7. Oh, I could have taken on c4. Okay. I'll try and keep things simple. Sack the rook. <laughs> I want to keep my rook. If knight of three, I yeah, it's not even a sack, it's just simplification. Knight g4. Ooh. Check. Check. Okay, good thing I didn't sack the rook. Actually, I am sacking the rook. <laughs> oh no, my rook. Okay. Just enough time to win that one. Yeah, black played really fast, but sometimes when you play too fast, it uh, can lead to just blundering things. So, it was another London opening trap. Actually, every single game I've played the London so far this tournament, I've had an opening trap within the first 15 moves. This is probably a good time to promote my London course. I made, like, now five years ago. But it's all about, like, tactics and traps in London. Um, yeah, because this... I mean, this is a pretty straightforward trap. I should have probably played this move. Um, it is like trendy to play f6 though. Like there's another line, a slightly different move order if black plays, or if white plays c3, then there's actually a really cool line f6 here. And there's a trap from black's perspective if bishop d3, which looks like it threatens queen h5, Black is better after e5. And this is somewhat secret like opening preparation. But the point is after queen h5, black can play this, takes, takes, lose a rook, win the bishop. And engine actually prefers black here. Um, despite being, yeah, despite white being up the exchange. Is the course still up to date? I mean, the rules of chess don't really change, but I could definitely, if I wanted to, I could definitely like do a an updated version with more like modern lines and it's on my mind to like do a like a full London repertoire course because there's so much I've learned over the last few years.
even in just like playing these online games. Okay, uh, moving on. Three and a half out of five. Playing FM Eyeball. I haven't played the Stafford yet. Actually, this is the same opening I played my, my first game where my opponent played Bishop C4 and it was super symmetrical. But I am offering a pawn. Mm, okay, I'm going to play this move. So there's a game in the World Rapid Blitz Championship between Timur Gureyev and uh, Peravion. Uh, I think this move. They had a similar line. Actually, Timur was in St. Louis recently, and he was like sharing some interesting analysis from his game. And there's a really cool trap, which I'm trying to remember. I think it goes bishop g5, and then maybe black's just worse, but there's there's a cool line. And meanwhile, if casting, I take him with the pawn. Ah, wow. If bishop g5, there's knight d4 takes and knight e4, but uh, I think here I have to play d6. Two months. D thanks for the great content. Oh, I remember studying this. Yeah, this is just winning for white, I think. Or is it? Also, thank you. Uncommented code. I can't take the pawn because there's bishop h7 in the end. So what to do? He takes a 97. I think it would just be down the pawn. Does white have Greek gift? White might have a Greek gift here. Although it, maybe it's unclear. So I do have king g6. I'm calculating takes. It's white who actually has to calculate. Pre-move this. Meanwhile, I wanna actually wanna target the pawn. I'm threatening to take. If rookie won, I don't think I can get away with taking. Because again, after all the trades, there's bishop h7 winning the queen. Unless, unless I have a back rank made in the very end. Like rookie one. Okay, never mind. And g5. So what if h6? Bishop h7, king f8. Wow. What's going on? I, mean, I have to go into this. Unless I have this move. Bishop c4. What's White's idea? Queen h5, king g8, queen g6, knight f8. I'm basically calling White's bluff and hoping it's actually a bluff. That's the idea. Yeah, king f8, queen f3. I have knight f6. We trade, I'll still be down a pawn. Knight d5 in the end, bishop d6. Oh, knight d5 in the end, might win another pawn. So calculation is this, 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 and then this with a triple fork. Maybe I can go after c2. Queen d5. So queen g8 is a concern. Am I just losing? I have this move. It 
doesn't look good though. And there's a line where my king locks to c5. So calculation this, 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 this. Oh no, my queen. Oh no, my king. I was thinking rook d1 winning my queen. I just got needed though. Oh, that's so sad. It was a risky opening to play. I got made it after 17 moves. I think white just played the reputation. Not a bluff. It wasn't a bluff. <laughs> if anything, I was the one who was bluffing. Yeah, so the reason to play this line for black is uh, bishop g5 looks like a very natural move. Oops, after rook e8, bishop g5, pinning the knight. But then there's a really cool sequence, starting with knight takes d4, sacking a knight temporarily, and then knight takes e4, it's losing the queen. But somehow the tactics are okay for black. Um, and yeah, shout out to Timur Gurev, who actually has a Twitch channel, Blindfold King on Twitch, who was sharing this uh, a few weeks ago with me. Ideas after takes, uh, black wins back the queen, and I think engine, what does engine say? Engine says black's winning. <laughs> so yeah, high risk and high reward, but also high punishment. Because yeah, e5 was the best move. Knight g5, wow. So I just played all the best moves here. Tennyson Gambit next. Quack. Man, white just didn't give me any mercy. Alright, actually very precise play from white. So play e5 and then like the sequence of knight g5, knight f7. And even queen d5 is icing on the cake for white. Because I was expecting this move, which is also winning, but what to do. Oh yeah, to play the tennis and gambit would require encountering a Scandinavian. Or it would would require like knight f3, d5, and then e4. How usual is it for them to accept the pawn but then decline the knight? Oh, um, I could answer that with stats. I'll answer that with statistics. So basically referring to this position, uh, and if we look in the Leechas database, yeah, actually, so most people play bishop c4, but significant amount take the pawn. And I'll just look at my games too. Um, as black, I've had this position so much. My games actually probably reflect like generally the, the overall stats in the database. So knight a5, and then after knight c6, most people do take, but okay, about what sixteen into forty eight. What is that? About 30% of the time uh, they move back. Magnus Carlsen included. Yeah, I played this position against Magnus. Uh, it was the most recent game against Magnus. It was already last year. But... Uh, yeah, in that game I played d5. This recent game I castled. Wait, what date last year? Played Magnus in the March title arena. It was March 20th. Huh. So we're approaching the one-year anniversary of losing to Magnus. I 
I do have a uh, a playlist on my YouTube channel of every single time I played against Magnus. Right? Which is only three times. No, four times. Four times. This being the most recent one. Okay, let's go back to Tarlo Tuesday. Playing some person. Oh, no tennis and gambit. Yeah, it's hard to play the tennis and gambit when I start with a London. Hey, it's Ben. What's up, Ben? Cheering 199. Shout out to Ben. I can't spell. <laughs> I tried to type Ben, I typed Nan M. <laughs> okay, let's play in this line. Oh, I have a new move in this line. Assuming. There we go. I haven't heard Ben say RAR in a, a while. Yeah, new move C4. Because, uh, what was it? The main line is Rook B1, Bishop B5, etc. But, um, wait, I don't have any prep here. E6, queen, c1. This is very new for me. There's some line like bishop f5, g4. But uh, yeah, this could turn into a bit more positional battle. Wait, what? Oh, that's why. Wait. Um, I'm not, maybe I'm not winning anything. It feels close, though. Now I'm just confused. Rook b3, bishop b4. Or rook c3, bishop b4. It's kind of sad. We trade. I get the bishop pair. Am I down a pawn? I'm down a pawn in the end, though. Rook c3. What does this move? It feels like a critical decision. Kind of like rook b3. I'm going to be down a pawn and like fighting for compensation. Yeah, I'll, I'll take with knight and play bishop d6. Oh. Yeah, this is actually just an opening gone wrong. I'm just down a pawn. <laughs> At least I rhymed. Maybe there's minimal compensation because this bishop is still sad. Do I go for king e2 or castling? I would like to play king e2, but there's knight c3. Spent a lot of time too. Let's play this move. Do I need to take. And there's bishop d2, so. I probably want to, never mind. Actually, yeah, I still want to play king e2 if I get a chance. My compensation involves having the bishop pair. What else? And also the half open b file. Rook C and I have Bishop A6. Bishop 
bishop e5, just preventing knight c3. Also getting a wooden shield. Mm. I don't really want to trade rooks, but I might have to. <sighs> Some bishop b8 idea. Maybe bishop b1. Wait, so let's not get forked. Knights are so tricky. Wait. Bishops are also tricky. What is this? Am I winning a pawn? No, I'm not. A4. Oop. Oh no, my position. But you never know. Sometimes accidental stalemate is possible. Okay, I want to walk here to maximize a stalemate. Please play this. Oh. Okay, I should resign. Or I should keep praying. <laughs> Where's the resign button? I even know where the resign button is. I could I could rage quit the tournament. Opponent seems like they're struggling. Fifty move roll? No. That's 85 moves. Oh, maybe I had to click to the game tab. Oh, that was the last round of the, or the last game of the round. So, okay, sorry for delaying the whole round. Uh, I'll play D5. Yeah, I think I have to like click because I could I could withdraw the tournament. But clicking withdraw doesn't resign the game. It just leaves the tournament, I think. Ah, okay. Yeah, my camera is covering the resign button. Wait. 
Do that was a mouse up. So resign button is only visible if I have the other, like the game tab open. What is this opening? I meant to take with pawn. I took with knight. Might as well take in this and then... Doesn't Kramnik play a similar opening? I think they call this a semi tarash Not sure whether to play b5 or b6. Or bishop d7. The problem with b5... Oh, let's play b5. I was inviting a4, but... Uh, why it's playing so quickly? Probably confidently. Rookie eight. Always play knight of eight. Is that a free pawn? Mm, there's probably some tactics. I could start with knight g6. Actually, might as well. Hit the queen. Opponent's not using any time. So I have a d4 here. Like d4 takes. d4 probably doesn't work. h4 is coming. Hmm. Oh, what to play? I'm so slow. Oh. The H4 is an annoying threat. Maybe Queen B6. Wow. I'm already in some trouble. Bishop c8. So bishop should be on e6. I want to put the queen here. Keep my king a bit safer. Interesting move. Is Benjamin Fine Gold trolling Eric or is Eric Meta trolling Benjamin Fine Gold? Uh, probably both. We can meta troll each other simultaneously while trolling chat. Please don't mate me. I mean, there's. There's a g6 here. g6 looks really bad though. I'm just losing. Let's play this move and knight d6, I have d4 at least. Too slow this game. Um. I shouldn't give up. Like, there's still room to fight. Do oh! Okay, opponent didn't take free f7 pawn. I have hope now because opponent's showing mercy. King needs to find a happier place. Almost five whole seconds of room. Yeah. Maybe I'll gain time. <laughs> It'll be six whole seconds. Don't win my pawn. 
This is my baby pawn. It wants to grow into a woman. Rookie three, knight here. Maybe I hold on to it. H6 is arguably weak. So is e5. f4 coming, f4, a5. Feels like I'm always having five seconds. B3 ideas. Check. I don't know what to do. We got four ideas. These positions a little bit easier to play. Don't hurt me. What is this game? No! No! My beloved Rook. And my beloved Time. Oh, I was holding on. Is it just losing? I have to play King G5. Maybe it's losing though, because check has a really difficult position to defend. Oh, I should play rook f6, check king f7. But then there's check. There, there's so many ways to like lose a knight or rook. Yeah, the tilt is, is getting to me. Or the time pressure. Yeah, Ben didn't roast me enough. What should I do? Ooh. Oh no, my music. Ah, I'm playing a, wait, I'm playing a GM from Portugal. I don't really know much Portuguese. There's Abrigado. I was in Portugal in February 2020. No, February 2019. I was in Lisbon. It was nice. Hey, thank you, John's vibing. Oh, uh, we'll play. We'll play chess. My goal this game is to keep a time advantage and not mouse it. I just want to know how it feels like to be up on time. Yeah, Portugal is really nice. 
like Lisbon, it's it's safe, it's clean, it's relatively cheap. Good food. Yeah, and the G4 is typical just to have some trades. Maybe have some more trades. 94 maybe coming. Yeah, so the plan is this, and then this, and then this, and then mate. Maybe with this included. Ooh. Should probably take with queen. If this comes, I think I'll put the rook on e7. Opponent wants to do things. I mean, maybe I can start with this. Queen e2. So there's some queen g4 idea. Go find gold. Sorry, wrong stream. I don't know why you type that when you can just type go Ben. It's okay though. Play this move. So I hit the pawn, trying to induce a3. There is this move, but then f5, f5, queen g3. Uh, how does this work? Maybe what I'll do is just get my rook to g6. Because the rook wanted to come here. So now it has a, has a plan. This is actually a monster threat. Because all of these things are, are tender. Medium rare. Okay, rook g6. Wait, rook g6, queen f4. Maybe he meant go find gold on some gold panning stream he thought he was on. Oh, that's probably the case. Wait, this position confuses me now. Even more so than Twitch chat. Queen f4. I don't think rook g6 works. If I play a five, a five doesn't work either. I might have to just retreat. Uh, rook g6, queen f4. Not seeing anything. I just lost all my time. Okay, I'll take and play a5. So I do get an outside passer. Probably a beneficial transformation for white. And there's some idea of pushing. Rook e6. Okay, rook c8. Wow. What was this move? I think we're going to be trading a lot. I might have a slightly worse rook ending. Because after takes, takes, rook c7, knight b6. Maybe I'll have a slightly better rook ending, actually. There was queen c2, maybe, but... Okay, so b6 is attacked twice. Rook b1, I have rook c8. So I was looking at rook c7, knight b6. Also that move. At least I have knight c4. 
So defending, Rook's ready to come over, support the pawn. Maybe 93, but maybe not. Okay. I just want to keep pushing the pawn. Ooh. I have no time to calculate. Am I winning? I just accidentally walked into this line. I think I'm winning. Oh no. I'm losing. Wait, no. I flagged. Is the final position winning? No, I don't think it is. Oh, I should have played 92 though. Oh, that's so sad. <laughs> it's too slow. Yeah, Queen B2 is uh, uh, there's a panic move. Though it's actually kind of hard to figure out what to do here. Like, even if I had more time. Wow, White's still winning this. That's crazy even though I was able to queen. Rook B2 best move. That's so crazy white's better here, because it looks like I'm just Eric, winning. Can you explain the moves before? Couldn't you have put the rook on G6 and ignore the attack on the knight as the pawn's pinned? Position the queen and it's okay, no? Uh, so you're probably referring to this position. Yeah, I... I didn't see what to do after queen f4. Because even though, yeah, the pawn's pinned, um, the problem is my knight doesn't really have a square. And it's really, I thought it was really awkward for black because I can't move back. And yeah, white doesn't threaten queen h4 immediately, but some king h2 is probably a threat. So, uh, what to do? That would make you Mickelger, gifting five. Okay, try and re recuperate. And that was a cool game. I'm actually not too upset given that, even though it was close to coming back, it was still losing in the end. Uh, 94. 94 played so quickly, too. Wait, I have the same tactic as earlier. Or do I? Take? So I want to play this, but after g6 takes, there's knight f6. Then queen h3 even. But I think this is even stronger. And then queen h5. Also, if bishop takes, I take, take, and then win g7. And then win h7, and then maybe trap the rook. This is my, what, this is like the fourth or fifth London opening trap of today. I've had some painful games today, but I've also like trapped a lot of people with London. This time, yeah, again, within like the first opening moves. Uh, is it mating? The move I'm, I'm looking at first is 95. Okay, so knight e5, king e7, queen f7, king d6, knight c4, king here. Uh, maybe it's not mating. 
I could win the rook with check. Yeah, I might as well just win the rook with check, take on h7, then take the bishop. That's completely winning. Um, maybe knight f7 first. I'm just trying to be precise. Idea being that I hit the queen, and then after take, imagine like queen d7, I'll have knight e5 in the end. Um, maybe this move? Oh no, my pawn! Ah. I can also check and win the pawn. Oh no. I mean, everything's winning here for white. The pawn's defended by tactics. Oh, black geniusly didn't take the pawn because they saw the fork, but they didn't see this fork. Okay. Uh, okay, that was a pleasant game. That game probably does a better job at like relieving all the tilts than any sort of like meditation music or death battle. Okay. Yeah, I guess black was, I think what happened in this game to my opponent, they just kind of had the setup in mind. Like they blitzed out the setup intending for a reverse stonewall. And, um, I played in such a way that this is really bad for black because of the queen h5 ideas. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if it was like a perfect game on on white's part, just given a pretty quick opening uh, advantage. Certainly better than Nickelback lullabies. Yeah, that's the goal, is to just play better than various types of lullabies, especially from Nickelback. Okay, at least I get like some recovery time. My rating has taken a small dip this tournament. Have to find some chips to go with a dip. Uh, let's watch a game. Pragananda against Mikatarian. Oh, Pragananda um, is playing in the same tournament that I'm playing in next month. Is a Reykjavik Open. I do have an Iceland command with more information about the tournament. Very strong lineup of players. Ooh, Mr. Kusha is playing very first off stream title Tuesday. I imagine, yeah, playing off stream probably allows for like greater focus and less distraction from Twitch chat. Also, enjoy your dinner, Brad McClelland. Thanks for being here. Have you ever been to Norway? I haven't. I've been to Denmark, Sweden, and Iceland. But I want to go to Norway and Finland someday. I only went to Iceland for like two days in 2016. It was so nice, like summertime, long days. The horses were friendly. Yes, I, I do plan on finishing my Gibraltar recaps before the Iceland tournament. I have two more to do. They take a lot of like preparation because I, I try and be thorough with analysis. And then hopefully in Iceland, I'll, I'll be able to do some content either 
either before the tournament, maybe during the tournament, but after the tournament as well. Can I make the board bigger? Uh, if I make it bigger, then the, the names will get cut off. I can make it like very slightly bigger. Is that better? <laughs> Trying to maximize size without losing information. Oh, a bit gambit says we played. Oh, during the guess elo stream, I guess three hundred points below. Yeah, I feel bad if I if I under guess, but one game is not always like representative of of one's rating. And it can be hard to guess too, like um, because it can depend on the time control and sometimes just very uh very critical moments. I'll probably do more of those at some point. It'd be cool to um, to have like a, a series. Wait, what? Oh, white one. Nice pin. So, uh, wow, Prague was, uh, was 9 out of 9. But now he's 9 out of 10. Still in clear first. Ooh, watching Dubov. Ooh, okay, we're going to see a uh, Bishop Knightmate. So Dubov playing black. Can he checkmate with Bishop and Knight? Move 72. So white has him until move 122. Aw, we don't get to see it. <laughs> Injic just resigns. That's so sad. I would have played it out. I mean, for the content, I would also maybe play out like Rook Checkmate. <laughs> if you want to see how to checkmate with Bishop and Knight, you can search YouTube. Eric Rosen, Bishop Knight. And yeah, this video. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I saw this coming. So the way to mate with bishop and knight is to drive the king to the edge, first of all. So I want to drive the king into the corner. I'm trying to remember this video. Is there increment? Um, so there's no increment. This move? There is increment. It's helpful when there's increment. Why am I struggling? Here we go. Yeah, the way to do it no. is to drive the king to the edge. Wait, the knight usually starts here, so I guess this way. My technique isn't that great here, actually. How do I do this? But you want to get the king to yeah the corner. I don't want to stalemate. Oh no! Don't flag. Twenty months. Wow. There we go. That video of us playing the position that broke stop. There we go. Oh, I do. It is almost 400k views now. Wow. I do this. Anyways, now I want to bring I the knight to uh, well, my friend. I haven't um, been active much in here, square. but Oh, thank you, Cole. Sorry that got cut off. There we go. Okay. Man, what a game. 123 move game. Just Okay, so <laughs> uh at least we get some uh, some spectacle of how to mate with Bishop Knight. Playing I am GM Justin. Wait, do I know this person? Justin Wayne? Oh, Sarkar. Um, I can't help myself. I'm gonna go for Stafford. Never mind. Not playing Stafford. Also, I do appreciate the the message and the resub from Cole. I do remember the, the game that broke Stockfish. It was a fun one. Okay, I'll play the sign. 
Yeah, I played Sarkar once in Philly in a classical tournament. I played him in, in some Blitz tournament, maybe Chicago Open Blitz. I mean, very like principled and knowledgeable player. I remember like sometimes, at least when I played him in, in Chicago Open Blitz, I got some nice time advantage and I think I got a dirty flag OTB. So the goal is to just play quick and solid moves, gradually improve the position, throw in rook e8. So with bishop e3, I trap the queen. Yeah, knight f5. I think I might just take. Simplify a little bit. The knight on f5 kind of scared me, though. Offering a queen trade. If we trade, then my knight will maneuver to e6. If we don't trade, then my queen might go to e6. Mm. Yeah, so I'm just allowing knight b6, because the rook's going to just go to d8. Idea f5. g4 might be played. c5 is possible, maybe. Wow, knight c5. So have to take. I think I can take and play like f5 and just bring the king to e6. Yeah, I was thinking long term this a5 pawn might be a weakness because it is fixed on the dark square. It's going to be a strategic ending. I mean, I have a slightly better king position, arguably a better pawn structure too. But yeah, it's still a question how to make progress. I don't think I want to trade bishops. Line with the king. king. Bishop, no. I could take and play rook f4 and target the pawn. Yeah, key I like key principle in these sort of endings is create a weakness and then attack a weakness. So I kind of create a weakness on e4. Now I'm trying to attack it. So there's bishop g5. Idea to align with the rook, threatening something like rook g4, and then hit the rook and then win the pawn. Which I th think I could do right away. I might trap my own rook though. Wait. If I play this, there's h3 takes, 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 I win a pawn in the end. Not sure. I have to be really careful about my rook getting trapped. I think I'll go for it though. Okay, so here I win a pawn. Ah, there's king. King f3. Wait. It's actually really complicated. I think it's okay though. 
Two. D5. So the point is, I'm trying to just wrap my mind around this line. There's C4 in the end, but then I take, take. I think it's okay. And then King E4, I have Bishop F6. C4 immediately, I have this move. And then uh, D4 will come. I could throw in rookie two, and why not? And D4. Okay, it finally feels like a, a relatively clean game. I guess the previous game was also clean. So I cut off the bishop, and I want to play rook f, f2. Okay. Um, yeah, that felt good. Staying above 2,600. Um, yeah, it was a little bit confusing here. I was more concerned about h3. Because it this fully traps my rook, but the line was takes, takes takes, takes, and takes, and I would be up a pawn here. But I have double G pawns, white has this move. I was trying to make nice sense of this line. Oh, thank you, Steven. Yeah, this position might be close to equal, although maybe black's a bit better. There's a funny line where, like, let's say, how to demonstrate, let's say this, and then this. It looks like I can't defend the pawn, but after this takes and then this, the rook would be trapped. And simple idea of just winning the rook. What country were you in when you visited the Dead Sea? Uh, I was in Israel. I was back in January, January 2020, right before the whole world shut down. Wait, let's uh, real quick check with Stockfish. Yeah, black is a, is a slight edge. And then going back further. Ah, uh, h3 is a, a high level move, but h3, I have this move. Ooh, there's tactics. Takes? Yeah. Okay, things could have got like weird. Um, I didn't calculate the rook trap in the game. I was calculating, I was basically calculating this position and I thought I could still try and play for a win, but I didn't see the idea of like g5 after rook g4. I might have a photo. Let me see if I have a photo of the Dead Sea. January 2020. Ah. Uh, okay, here's a photo of me floating in the Dead Sea. <laughs> yeah, it's it's actually kind of a magical experience because you can't not float. Like it takes no effort at all. But the, the ground is like really painful if you don't have uh, water shoes. Yeah, oh no, my buoyancy. Found some other photos too. Oh, the turn's over. Wait, that was the last round? That was the last round. Congratulations to Ah Pragananda still finishing in wait. You only played 10 games? This is probably another bug. It should say like something out of eleven. 
Wait. Standings. Nine out of ten. Is it over? Oh. I guess it is over. Wow, that was, there was a five-way tie for first. Dubov, wait, Dubov winning on tie breaks. Didn't say Prague won? Maybe it's just random, but there is there is a tie break number. Bobby in fifth. It showed me in 73rd. But I can't scroll down past like 30. Anyway, that was a lot dermant. Um, this will probably go on YouTube, either the VODs channel or the, yeah, I'm debating whether to actually rename it like Eric Rosen VODs or Eric Rosen Archive. It's currently named Eric Rosen Extra. So either go on that channel or my main channel. If you're watching in the future on YouTube, let me know in the comments if you made it this far. Also, let me know your favorite game of the stream. It does help if people like timestamp their favorite moments in the comments, especially on full stream videos. Um, comments with timestamps, I guess, make it easier for people to like hop around to the, the cool moments. Okay. Um, do I keep playing chess? I could keep playing chess. I kind of want to raise my chess.com ratings. Do I play bullet? I'm also kind of tired and hungry. And cold. <laughs> uh, I haven't played bullet on chess.com in ages. Last bullet game I played was against Gotham Chess, where Hikaru, Tanya, and John Bartholomew took over his account. Yeah, bullets, um, it's a different than Lee Chess because you lose time even for pre-moving. So time management is a little bit more important. I like the position here. F3 eventually. Yeah, it looks like a free pawn. Um, have to be careful. Your rook g1 is coming very soon. Ooh. Hey, plus 33. Ah, my rating is more volatile because I hasn't I haven't played much at all. Maybe I should keep playing. <laughs> yeah, it's as if my rating was like closer to provisional. Uh new one minute. Yeah, I maybe I'm I'm like a few wins away from twenty eight hundred. Which I don't think I've ever achieved on chess.com. I should change the stream title. Something to like to reading climb. Okay, so the idea is this and this. Hmm. White's under pressure, and the queen's short on squares. I have to be careful, though. I might just sack back the rook. In the very end, though, there's knight f3. So I don't think white wants to take the rook. 
That's a good move, though. I'll play this. Okay, we might trade. F4 might be played. No. So I'm up a pawn. Up on time, which is very important. Oh, is the sound too high? Like, was the sound too high the whole stream of the moves? Oh, sound is fine. Okay, that's good. Oops. No! Okay, I'll win on time. Or I'll, I'll draw on time. <laughs> oh, I hung everything. Oh, I plus... Oh, it says minus 11 for the draw. Well, I got plus one for the league. Okay, I'll keep uh, keep grinding here. Raining climb. Okay. Oh, the time starts taking immediately. Ah, Stafford Gambit time. Oh, Kashrin Gambit time. I don't know this opening. I should know what I'm doing, but I don't. D4 is kind of hanging. Wow. Check, check. Queen E4. Yeah, I don't want to trade queens, but it's hard to prevent. If I check, let's take a pawn. Tricky, tricky. Look at this move. Covering all the squares. I mean, there's queen, queen b8, rook b1, queen c7, bishop a5. Then knight b6. h2 is hanging. d6 is coming. Disconnecting the queen and bishop. Ooh, fancy, fancy. Oh, my time. Let's go, dirty flag. Man, I feel so uncomfortable in the time scrambles. <laughs> I got the job done. Okay, getting closer to 2800. Let's go. Oh, I'm playing the same opponent. Okay, Catalan. At the very beginning of the stream, someone asked me if we'll see uh see this opening. We finally do. Can't stop, won't stop. Amen. So this was all opening preparation through b5, bishop b7. Very pleasant position for bullet. Because uh, the setup is pretty straightforward to play. This idea in bishop b5. I'm kind of hung upon. Maybe it's okay. 
Maybe it's not okay. Uh, what to do? Down the pond, up a little bit of time. A tricky move. B3, I take the knight, went back the pawn. Okay, keep attacking the rook. I miss rook d4. Knight d2 is scary. That move too. Holding on by a thread. What is this position? Rook c5, I take it. Wow. Still up on time. Check. Never mind. Ah. Uh, don't panic. Just a matter of converting the time advantage. There we go. Let's go. Okay. Farming. Farming for raiding. I'm so close to 2800. This is like a big life milestone. Oh, rematch. I didn't. I meant to click new opponent. We probably would have rematched anyway. I should have played that move. Um, I'll still go for this idea. Idea is if pawn or knight takes, I take with a rook. I sack the exchange. Objectively, maybe it's dubious, but it leads to an easier position to play for bullet. Threatening this now. If this, I have queen g5, rook f7, maybe takes. Okay, let's go after this pawn. Queen e8, I have bishop g6. Ooh, fancy. What is this position? I guess I take. And then take. If takes, I have bishop c4. Really? This No, I don't have... I have this move. That was fortunate. Oh, maybe it's unfortunate. I'm just losing material. That was unfortunate. Oh no. Don't hurt me. Ooh, free queen. Let's go. Okay. Hey, twenty hundred. Let's go. Do I go for twenty nine hundred? I feel so powerful now. Hey, I'm playing Mr. Kusha. Mr. Kusha's been watching. Hmm. To be a little bit careful. These pawns are menacing. My bishop might be just getting. Oh, my king is getting trapped. Oh no, my raiding. Good game, Mr. Kusha. I meant to play. I wanted to get the, the bishop trade, but I was too slow. What to do? Mr. Kusha in good form. Oh, we could rematch. Oh, oop. I didn't see the rematch. Uh, well, now I'm playing someone who's maybe a bit more beatable. Okay, let's play bread and butter. Another free pawn. 
Another free pawn. Mm. So I'm still up a pawn. Um, questionable position though. Take a knight of three. I should castle someday. Oh, I didn't see that. Uh, don't hurt me. I have no time. Oh no. No, I, I wasted so much time that game. Oh no, my rating. I should have quit while I still had 2,800. What to do? So time, time advantage is really important. This opening is already kind of questionable. At least I'm up on time. Tricky move 95. Mm, bishop f4, good move. That was really passive. Some g, maybe b6. Don't hurt me. So e5, I have knight f5. I just want to win the h pawn. Wait, let's not plunder a queen. Wow, fancy, fancy. Take. I think I'm winning the rook. G4 is timely. I'm not quite mating though. Oops. Okay, got the pre-move action there. Thank you, 17th, with the prime sub. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try and do one more run back to 2800. Because my rating is still somewhat volatile. Like 13 points for beating someone, 150 points lower. It's not bad. Okay, I have this line. I had this line earlier. Knight d7 is not a great move. B6, I... There's nice six ideas. Go for h4. Idea queen g3. Hi, Eric. Hi. Ken Hackley. Thanks for subbing. That was very pleasant here. My g6 coming. Um, I think I'll play this in g4. This and rook g1, castle queenside. 
It still takes work. Our lock's resisting well. Fancy move. It's like a fancy queen trade. Let's go. Okay. Oh, thank you, Gray Fox Cyborg and Super Robot Axe. Appreciate the subs and the resubs. I'm playing a 2300. I didn't know I could play such below my rating, but maybe that's how the algorithm works. Queen G7 is maybe a move. The taking away casting rights. Like B5. Oh, I meant to play Knight H3, not Rook H3. Okay, positional battle now. Easier position for bullet. F4 probably coming. Hmm. Yeah, we can trade stuff. G6 is very tender. Now H5 is falling. Preventing knight d4. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> I'm just trying to accomplish my life goals. Or reaccomplish my life goals. Okay, plus two. How do I set my rating preferences? Settings, no. Oh, here. Play. Ah, that's why. Let's say minus 200. Save. It might take a little bit longer to get a game. I think you golem. Solving with Prime for five months. And it's 626 p.m. Central Time for me. Prime time to grind. Okay. So I concede the bishop pair, but I hit this pawn. Idea g4. In g4, maybe this move first. g4 is still on the horizon. Queen here hitting the pawn. I'm stacking a piece because, uh, yeah, it's a raging attack. Like all these pieces ready to storm. These pieces not really helping defend. Am I mating? I have three. Oh, that's check. Where's a mate? Not seeing the mate. Mm. Wasn't seeing it. 
And my time is low now. I'm letting it slip. There we go. Ooh. No! That was such a bad pre-move. No! Ah. Oh, such a good position, too. The problem was I took way too long in this situation. I wanted to play queen h3. I should just play like g4, maybe? It wasn't so simple. Yeah, what did I miss? I'm curious. Engine just says it's a draw, but let's go earlier. Knight g6. Knight g6 is a calm move. Yeah, there's no reason to sack. Oh, knight h2. Wow. Knight h2 is crazy. But knight g6 was just simple. Because white doesn't have a, a clear defense. Okay. Uh, I'll play a few more. New game. Same opponent. Okay, we'll go into this line. This is already pleasant for white. I'm just castling. There's also g4. I'll play g4. The key is not to overthink things. I have to play with confidence and not plunder a queen. And there's take six, king h or king g7, rook h, queen's like castling even. Hmm. Oh, my queen. How bad is this? Time isn't great. On each chess, it's easy win for black, but I don't know about chess.com. Please tell me. That's probably easy win. Yeah, what to do? Okay, I think... Do I keep going? <laughs> I'll keep going a little bit. I think my rating is leveling out, though. I, I need to keep going until we have at least one Staffer Gambit. Oh, uh, this is anti-Staffer Gambit. This opening is not like super pleasant, but uh, try and make do. Trade, trade a little bit more. So I defend the pawn. Mm. 
Yeah, the first step is like trying to equalize. Offering this pawn. This is one big trade. I'm down a pawn, but white has not the best structure. An ideal setup is to play h5 and then king e6 and be close enough to help out. Yeah, I'm playing this for a win now or for a loss. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I'm pushing kind of hard to win. This is okay. Ooh, free pawn or free rook. Let's go. Okay, that was a fortunate game. Let's go. Rematch? Oh, playing this player again. Yeah, this player has been farming me a little bit, but I'll play the reverse Smith Mora. Down a tempo. How bad is this? It looks playable. Maybe it's not that great though. Yeah, I'm just down a pawn. Up on time though. B3 is now attacked. Okay, looks like I'm winning b3. White does have the bishop pair. Okay, we're trading a lot. a5 falls. But I have this move in the end. Getting the rook and bishop, and now pawn's hanging. Um, I think I can take this. I do cover uh, c8 with the bishop. Oh! Well played. It's still interesting though, even though I'm down a rook. Or is it? Queen b5, threatening queen f1. Yeah, this is kind of sad. And feel White's nervousness. Uh, no, well played, well played. Oh, what to do? I think I got to find position and then uh, and things kind of fell apart. Okay, Ponzi, uh, let's play this opening. I don't even know this opening, D3. Okay, one more loss and then the stream ends. So maybe that will motivate me to, I don't know if that motivates me to play better or worse. But at least we have a, a rule. Okay, trying to play solidly. Trade, improve, knight c4. That didn't really help. Idea C4. C4 is not a move I want to play though. Or is it? The position is not comfortable. 
Mm, it's about five. I do this and this. That's really uncomfortable. I've got two. What's going on? Wow. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I have no feel for like time scrambles. I guess that means I keep going, right? I was going to absolutely destroy that game. Man, I completely forgot I made tea. Look how much tea I have left. It's a lot of tea. It's throat comfort tea too. Oh yeah, hopefully we'll have a real Stafford too. Okay, we have a walrus. Hey, we have a Stafford. Transposed into Stafford. The ready meets the walrus meets the Stafford. Yeah, this is actually kind of a cool line. And takes takes bishop e3, queen d3. I think this is just bad for black, but we'll see. Um, it looks interesting though. Hmm. What is this position? We just traded off everything. I'm down a piece, but oh no, my bishop. Idea rookie one if takes. Oh, it didn't work. Now I'm down two bishops. Ah. I'm still threatening some skewer thing. Oh no. What's going on? Oh no, my pawn. Ah, uh, I set up the stalemate trick. What to do? <laughs> I had to play King H8 there. Okay, it's time to wrap things up. I still finish above 2700. But I lost about 100 points <laughs> since I reached 2800. The rating volatility. Yeah, this is this is a uh... A dubious line for black, but it's supposed to still be interesting. Bishop b3. So I played queen d3. Oh, black's winning here. Ah, bishop g4. Yeah, the best move is king d2. Which is, it can be hard to find in a bullet game. Anyway, I hope people enjoyed watching. Thanks to those who tuned in for even longer than the, the Title Tuesday event. Um, I'll be back at some point this coming week. Maybe at some point I'll do like a viewer tournament. Viewer tournament or maybe some different type of content. I'm trying to mix things up. 
I was doing Zen Mode Viewer Challenges with Gus Elo. Today was Title Tuesday. So yeah, stay tuned for, for hopefully something new and fresh. And now, okay, uh, yeah, I can read Lafong. Lafong has been streaming for only 22 minutes. Can't watch. Oh, can't wait to watch the beginning of the stream on the second channel. Nice. Yeah, th this whole stream will probably go on YouTube. So, um, yeah, we do still have the extra command. Extra channel is about to 10,000 subscribers. So I appreciate those who have subbed. Goodbye to Hannah. Thanks for being here. Shout out again to Hannah. What else to say? Oh, Aura Myrta. I remember you asked yesterday if I have a P.O. box. I don't know if I answered the comment. But I do have like a, it's like a public mail address, public mailbox address. It's like a UPS mailbox. So for those that want to send van mail, um, yeah, we do have the mail command. There's also the email command. <laughs> a few different ways to get in touch. Okay, so uh, send some good vibes to Lafong, and I'll be back.